hello this is Daniel Mart and today I'm gonna to be doing another review this one's gonna be for episode 6 of of season 1 of True Detective Haunted Houses oh my gosh so yeah before I begin though 10 second spoiler warning as usual for those that have yet to actually watch the episode and haven't already stop the video go check it out and come back here and watch the rest of this review 10 second spoiler warning as usual starting now Okay, so 10 seconds are up, so for those that have yet to actually watch the episode and haven't already, um, please don't comment down below or be messaging me, then I'll be giving you a fair warning, as usual, I did. Yeah, there is no way this show can get any crazier. Um, yeah, in the previous episode, this show got crazy, and it just got crazier. Okay, so yeah. Um, basically, in, in this episode, um, where do we begin? Okay, so, uh, in the 2002 um, in the 2002 uh, line timeline, you have Cole, and he's trying to figure out. Um, and he's basically trying to link up, link together um a couple of missing persons reports that's been happening around the 2D, around uh Tudor funded school. One of the pastors there. Um, uh, yeah, a basically a foreign pastor. Yeah, uh, in the Tudor, this Tudor school. Um, claims that that Toodle, who I guess is the guy who runs it or whatever, um, basically uh, covered up child a bunch of child molestation reports or child rape, child pornography, that type of stuff. Um, so I, and now Cole is now trying to figure out, you know, how to get this guy. Um, she, um, he finds one of one of his victims, La Douge, um, who is in this regressive Cantonia system or whatever. Um, and basically tells Cole about a third attacker, which is a man with a giant scar. So apparently there's three people, um, you know, this two guy, uh, this man with the giant scar and this th and a third of the guy, which I assume they were talking about the guy who committed the Lang murders. Uh, but what, every time Cole tried to get closer, you know, trying to get more knowledge about this man, she screamed for whatever reason. Um, you know, two complains to the police department about Cole and, him kind of just coming up, up unex unexpected unexpectedly and almost without any reason. Um, yeah, and then Hart also then you have the stuff with Hart and he begins an affair with Beth, who if you guys Beth who if you guys remembered was the underage prostitute from like a couple episodes behind. So yeah, it appears he's still gonna cheat. Um, so yeah, Maggie f finds this out and then she starts banging. She starts ha um, having sex with Cole. Uh, Maggie tells Cole, I mean, Maggie tells Hart, Hart gets pits, pissed off and starts fighting with Cole over a woman. Um, so yeah, your typical situation. Um, then in the 2012 timeline, the current timeline, um, basically they have, um, the two lead detectives in the 2012 timeline, they managed to get a hold of Maggie, uh, but every time, she, um, they asked her questions, um, she kind of didn't want to answer. She was kind of, you know, vague or whatever. She really didn't want to answer. And then, you, and then Hart kind of just walks out halfway through his interview and contacts Cole. So, yeah, um, crazy, crazy stuff. As usual, great acting, great writing. That's that's a given for this episode. Um, yeah, the plot, the whole plot line, I wasn't, I, you know, I was kind of iffy about it because I read it right before I read the, before I saw the episode. I was kind of iffy about it, but I'm like, I was dead wrong. There's no way I should be iffy. I'm like, wait, it's True Detective. It's a great show. And, of course, it delivers. Um, I mean, really, overall, it's a great show. I mean, it's really... Any complaints, again, as usual, more as usual, are nitpicks. I mean, the one huge major issue is the fact that, you know, Maggie, the fact that they even got her kind of involved in the current timeline, just really doesn't make sense because she really doesn't fit into it that much. Aside from that, it's overall, it's a pretty great episode. Um, there's a few small action scenes throughout, scattered throughout the episode. I thought they were pretty well done as usual. Um, I thought the, uh, you know, I thought Hart and and Cole fighting, you know, Woody Harrelson and McConaughey. I thought them fighting was pretty interesting, pretty cool. I mean, I did understand as to why, but I, th I thought it was pretty cool. And then you know, him just kind of quits the police force. I thought that was also pretty funny. Um, I mean, he's kind of a douchebag, but he, he just does it in a way that you kind of you kind of chuckle or laugh at some of the stuff he says. Um, so, I mean, overall, it's a great episode. There's a few things over here and there that I you know, don't necessarily agree. Um, Hart, um, he's cheating again, so surprise, surprise. 
So yeah, I mean, on a scale of 1 to 10, 1 being the worst, 10 being the best, and 6 being decent, I give it an 8 out of 10. It's a pretty good, ep great episode. Definitely do check it out if you haven't already. And yeah, that's basically it for this review. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed. I do movie reviews, TV show reviews, and comic book reviews. Comment down below on your thoughts on the episode. Like the video, share on Facebook, Twitter, MySpace, or whatever you guys prefer. And that's basically it for now. This is Daniel Mart signing off.